First, you're given a product scanner to create your gift registry list. Go ahead and scan all the items in the store that you would like to add to your gift registry, and then place the scanner on the table. When you place it on the table, all the items you previously scanned are tossed out onto the table for you to review. Here you can get additional information on the product as well as the price. When you're ready to start your gift registry, you can take your customer card and place it on the table. You can then add all these products to your gift registry orb that appears on the table. In this control, you can also pull off a few things you might not want included. Maybe you don't want these tumblers anymore, but for the most part, this is what you're ready to save to your registry. So you can go ahead and save your gift registry, and all the cards come flying here to your customer card. When you send out invitations, everyone will also receive a gift registry access card. So if I'm a guest, I can come into the houseware store and place it on the table, and all the items that you previously selected for your gift registry are now shown on the table. Here's the price control that can filter by price, but more importantly, when I flip it over, I can organize the view because it's slightly overwhelmed. Then I can go ahead and filter by category. I wasn't really interested in buying anything for their living room, or maybe not for their work. No party items, and nothing for the bedrooms. I'm also looking to get them some dinnerware, and I was also looking to spend anywhere from $50 to $100. That leaves me with this appetizer plate for $82.95. This will be my gift to this couple. So now I'll go ahead and put down my customer loyalty card, and add it to my cart. Save it and then take it to the register.